How can you help a friend suffering from depression? When I was depressed I never wanted to hang out with my friends because I thought I was useless. Something a friend did was ask me to go on errands with her. Made it seem like I was doing her a favor. Things like can you go to the mall with me to pick out an interview shirt or can you help me assemble my dresser or anything else you can think of. This made me feel needed and since there was a defined activity I didn't have to put my mask on. Edit. I didn't mean to discount talking and messaging your friends to let them know you're there for them. If you find it difficult to get your friend to open up, my way is a good plan C. Plan A is professional treatment. Plan B is letting your friend know you're there. Be persistent in your efforts. When I was extremely depressed, sometimes returning a text was more than I could handle. Then I would beat myself up mentally for being s asterisk asterisk tty and alienating the few friends I had. If they just kept sending me dumb memes I would feel this sense of relief like maybe I didn't blow it and tank the relationship forever. Don't stop inviting them to things. They'll go eventually. Offer to bring them some tequila or coffee. Offer a chat or a hangout. Mention that they don't have to explain anything and that you will be there if they need you. Don't downplay their problems or offer advice just listen. Just be cool with it and don't stop being cool with it. A lot of people either run immediately or get tired of it and lead down the line. Just sticking around and letting them know it's cool and you understand is really helpful. Depression takes a lot of forms so ask specifically what helps each person. Therapist here first understand you can't fix your friend's depression. No matter what you do, you can't make the depression go away. What will you can do, however, is make it less bad. So don't try to fix it, just try to make it feel less bad, it helps a ton. Be there and listen to your friend. Also allow him slash her to be depressed around you. Don't scold him slash her her for being unmotivated or never cheering up. Don't force them to pretend to be okay for your sake. Other than that, treat them like any other friend. Hang out, tell them of your troubles, listen to their problems. Really, being there despite the depression makes all the difference in the world. While we're here I might as well ask. I'm in a rough spot and would appreciate some people to talk to. My girlfriend is a heroin addict who is in rehab and she broke up with me over the phone a couple of days ago. She wants to focus on herself to get better. I respect that, but I'm having a really hard time. If anyone would like to chat PM me. I get depressive spells often and the one thing I know would help me, but unfortunately no one ever does this for me, is to flat order me out of the house. We're going. No is not an acceptable answer, and you will do something to break the monotony and make you feel better. Check on them and offer to listen. Be present enough to learn the ways their depression manifests, because it's different for everyone. Ask them what they do when they are depressed, and ask what you can do to help. Learn what kind of things will give them even the smallest boost. For me, it's a trip to the bookstore. To them it may be as easy as getting them Taco Bell. Use that as a way to get them to talk a bit, get them feeling like the world is okay for a while. Equally as important is making sure that you take any talk of suicide seriously. If something is off and they've been talking about suicide, call the police. They'd rather do a wellness check than remove a body any day. Even if the person begs you not to, they need help. If they are considering suicide, they need professional help. They might hate you for a while, but in the long run it will help them. Also, props on being such a good friend and asking how you can support them. Empathy. Just being there for them and trying to help. BTWOP are you asking this question because you need advice? Include them. Invite us to parties and s asterisk asterisk t, but make clear that it's okay if we're not in the right mood or whatever. Just give us the opportunity, even if we won't take it. Often people start to invite depressive people less and less because the answer is mostly no. That leads depressive people to new thoughts, like they don't like me and they want to have fun without me. If you just continue inviting them, they at least feel like they are, like, something, a person maybe. It makes at least me feel slightly appreciated and it increases the odds that I will actually accept one of those invitations and actually be in a social environment and not home alone with my thoughts again. But what's important, 
don't push them. If you force somebody to go to a party and he doesn't have a great experience, it's likely that from now on his will to go on any party again is non-existent. Don't try and play therapist. Just invite them over, talk if they want, or just suggest doing something nice. A movie, a walk, no big stuff, just simple friend stuff. It would help a lot of you answer their late night text and just listen to them. Text them even if they don't always text back. Invite them to things and remind them that people do want to see them. Instead of saying let me know if you need anything, offer specifics, can I bring you food, is it okay if I stop by, do you need help tidying up. Order them pizza. Bring over a healthy dinner. Quietly talk about s asterisk asterisk t. Don't push. Let your friend be silent if he slash she needs to. Listen and care if they want to talk. Hug them silently if they cry. Avoid judgment and avoid cheering them up. Take them on a hike, walk, whatever. Somewhere with nature, a little sunshine, and nobody else around. Get them out of the house, but not into a stressful social context where they are forced to pretend to be happy. Text or call them daily. Don't be but that if they don't always reply. More controversially, if they are in really bad shape, take the reins for them and get them help. Make a doctor's appointment for them and take them to it. Antidepressants are extremely helpful tools, albeit not cure-alls. Talk therapy is extremely helpful as well. This gets posted here about every week and honestly I'm not mad. Depression is a potentially fatal disorder. As such they need professional help. Too much amateur help can actually be codependent and be counterproductive. Which doesn't mean you can't lend an ear, but at the same time you should have phone numbers of a psychiatrist and psychotherapist on hand, and insist they make the calls for help. I should add that having worked in mental health, any psychiatrist or psychotherapist worth their license will make arrangements. If you don't have insurance or can't afford their aid, they will see people for free in some cases, especially young people. They went into the field to help people. There are low cost clinics in most cities. There is no reason to not get help. Find escapes for them. Depression can be overwhelming, and just finding something to keep your mind busy can slowly change over time. Make sure to like and subscribe for more daily content. Thanks for watching.